Welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. I'm also going to say welcome to Happy Learning because this video is going to be about my um, favorite genre that Osborne Books and More has, and that's nonfiction um, and learning in, ge in general. This one is going to be for kiddos probably six and up, okay? So I'm not saying your five year old or your four year old's not going to enjoy these because I do read all of these to my own almost five year old, and he loves them doesn't understand everything, but it's just great to introduce them to concepts. But I, I had to separate them somehow, so I'm going to start with these. So if you have a kid that's into space or into exploration, they will love this. This is kind of written in a very casual way with little um, cartoon characters all about what it's like to be an astronaut. From what they eat, what happens if they get sick, um, how they're chosen, how you can call your parents, <laughs> all that fun stuff. It's just, it's called the Usborne Official Astronaut's Handbook. So the story of inventions, we have one that's the story of, I believe, astronomy and the story of science, and then I think there might be one story of electricity or something like that. But um, these are written with cartoons, again, and little chunks of text all about everything with inventions, like everyday things and some that are more unique, um, all about the people who invented them, how they came to be, um, and maybe what hap what's happened since, that kind of stuff. So it's a story of inventions, so fascinating. Um, someone joked that they leave that in their bathroom and it's been a hit. Hmm. And then we've got this discovery series that um, there is, okay, there's spying, there's drones, there's military or special forces. There is artificial intelligence. This one is survival. And they use real images as well as illustrations um, to talk about everything you need to how to protect yourself from things like wild animal attacks, how to find shelter out um, in rough country, how to get rescue teams to notice you um, from dangers and all that. You can explore and their true survival stories based on that too. So it's actually incredibly useful probably for all of us to read. Um, another book we have has 100 Things to Know About Science. We have one also about space. These are infographics, which is just a really cool presentation of facts. So it's, you get little entry points. The smallest living organism. Um, bridges can span. How all about bridges. Atoms are tiny. Now, the reason I'm kind of going through this is to show you that it's so random, some of this information, and it's exciting. It's information that can be valuable and gets, can get them excited about another subject. Um, so we have several encyclopedias. This one is the paperback version. My only regret, I should have gone ahead and got the hardbound. We love these. We have um, encyclopedia, let's see, we have world history, we have science, um, we have a children's encyclopedia that will be in my favorites video that I always show. Um, but this one is great. It's just, it gets learning back on in front of them versus that's not on the screen. That's what I love about them. However, all of our stuff has now started um, joining with internet. So it has internet links, so you can go online and find out more about that topic that is covered on this. So this one's all about geography, which is the relationship between people, places, and things. So one of our most popular series, and um, don't think because it has flaps that your kid is too old for it. It is for seven and older, and I mean older. Like, I am learning from these books. And I'm not telling you how old I am, but I'm sure you can guess. Um, but anyway, so every page is going to have a really cool spread, and then there's flaps galore to lift bite-sized chunks of information. This is a great way to engage their brains, and they won't even notice that they're learning. That's the cool thing. Um, and you get to learn right along with them if you can do it as a family. Otherwise, they'll have fun doing it on their own. Um, then we've got also one of my favorites, this Brain Twisters. It's a thin book, but it's blown me away with the, the contents of it. It's just fascinating. Um, this is all about your senses, why you, why things hurt, um, and it's thinking about thinking. It talks about perception, um, ways to kind of fool your friends, and it's just like little brain tricks and stuff that you can do that teaches at the same time. This Usborne World of Animals is one of our, I don't know what I call these, um, but they're like reference books kind of, but they have beautiful illustrations. Again, more internet links. It can really get them into a subject and kind of be like a launch pad into another, like something that they might find that they're interested in that they didn't know before, and they can do different reports on them for school. Um, but they're just great to have in front of them rather than having to go to Google for everything and searching. And last but not least, because we have so many more nonfiction books that I could go on for days, um, is this Timeline of World History. Um, we also have a book called Time Traveler that is quite fascinating. 
Um, but this one is a newer one and it's got chunks. So if you're a history buff or someone that has trouble with history, this is a great add-on supplement. Um, it's kind of like, if you can see that, they go in a timeline by area. That's kind of how it goes all the way up through the 20th century. All right, so I hope that gives you a good sample. Um, if your kid's really interested in something and you didn't see something in this bunch, let me know and I will try to find something that will go along with that. But um, I'll close it with that and happy reading, but also happy learning. Thanks.